hello everyone welcome back she's back i know i was away for two weeks i'm well aware and i'm so sorry about that however i did just want a week to like hang out with my friends and really kick it low-key and have the best time with them because i do work a full-time job if you guys are not aware in addition to youtube so with that being said it's been really really stressful so i really wanted to film because i actually enjoy filming but then i was like you know what let's take some time to really relax and enjoy every second with my friends and that's exactly what i did and then i got home and i got super freaking sick so that's why it's now two weeks instead of just one week of waiting. We're here now. We're kikiing. We're living. Go subscribe because I noticed 90% of you are not subscribed. And yes, I'm well aware you'll be liking those try on haul videos and they're coming. I just need to prep a bunch of clothes for summer because I have so many cute outfit ideas and bathing suits and stuff that I still have yet to purchase and show you. So just bear with me. I do appreciate my 600 subscribers. I can't even believe that that's even real. Anyways, let's just get right into this Amazon favorites video. <music> So the first thing I wanted to show you guys for makeup wise were these powder puffs. So these have gone crazy on the internet. Let me just take a couple of these out. I've talked about these before. They're, they come so many in a pack and they're so cute and pretty affordable for what you're getting. They're just little powder puffs with a little handle to like set your powder and such. So these are really cute. Would highly recommend. Like I pressed in my under eyes today and they've never looked so flawless. I will link everything down below for you guys as well. Not to worry. This is the Wet n Wild. I also talked about this I think in my last video but I hadn't had tried it yet. I'm actually wearing the liner now very lightly like i just brush it over with my fingers and then put a lipstick and gloss on top but oh my gosh look how long this thing is it was like a dollar and 50 cents or something canadian so this was super affordable like you can't find this in our walmart or anything for a dollar so realistically look how much product is in that it is so long and I really like the way it applies. I wanted to show you guys my earrings, which they were smaller than what I pictured them to be, but they're so cute. They're such nice shiny gold hoops that I believe Kelly Strack, I believe her name is. Got it right for the first time. Kelly Strack's video where she talks about these in her Amazon favorites. So you better believe I clicked so fast to get them. But in the picture on Amazon, they look a little bit bigger. So they're actually a lot smaller, but they are so nice. And they have like a straight backing where it just clips in in the back. I believe they're just gold plated, but they feel heavy. They feel really nice. I'm actually allergic to fake jewelry. So I can tell you that I really, really like these so far so the next thing would be this sweater that i'm actually wearing which is the very famous and popular gildan's crew neck this is an oversized i believe i got a large in it i also have it in black which is exactly the same i believe it's a men's hoodie as well so they're like really large i would definitely get a size smaller next time the next thing i wanted to show you guys would be this cup now this cup i purchased like three years ago okay and it's never done me dirty i know it's all about simply modern dupe on amazon which i've tried to get by the way sold out just because i like it this is definitely a little bit bulkier on the top simply modern is supposed to be way better than the stanley anyways so and everyone's on the hype of the stanley that's not lasting long i'll tell you that straight from here don't follow every trend you see i got this three years ago it's never done me dirty i love it it is a little chunky monkey but the color is so bright and cute. Obviously, it's a little bit different. It's not as aesthetically pleasing, I would say. But it's so fun for the summer. All I do is put sangria in here and live my best life. It keeps it so cold as well. I don't like cold water. I know you're going to judge me. I'm a room temperature type of gal. But this right here, for cold other drinks like Diet Coke, my Diet Coke girlies. And what I love about it is that it has two different lids. This is the first one that has like a little hole for your straw. And it also has like a little thing to cover it in case you're not using that. And each cup comes with two different straws as well. And then it also has this section that you literally just would sip out of here. But then another lid that you just can use for sipping in general. And then when you're not using it, you would just close it. And it seals really tight, like there's no spilling, like nothing. And tell me if I'm wrong, Peach, does your drinks stay cold when you have them overnight? Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, okay, if you put ice cubes, the ice cubes if last. I wake up at like three in the morning and like I'm thirsty and I take a sip out of it, like yeah, it's still pretty cold. But by the time I wake up in the morning, it's not. 
And there's no ice cubes left. No. Okay, so it's not as good as a, what are the other ones? Not just a Stanley, there's um, Yeti. a Yeti. Yeah, those ones I heard keep the ice, ice. I guess a Stanley is good. If, they, I, if it is true that your ice stays as ice for a Stanley, okay, I'll give it that. But the lids I heard are shit. And if you turn it upside down, they spill all over the place. My sisters actually, I know this is Amazon, but they actually found almost identical looking Stanley. It's a little chunkier as well, but from uh, winners, they said that their ice stays like ice overnight. So there's options. You don't just have to get a fucking Stanley. Okay, electronics. Let's start off for my gym girlies and my weight tracking girlies, which let me preface this by saying, I don't believe in scales. I don't believe that you can track just your progress using a scale. A number is just a number at the end of the day. Photos, fat percentage specifically, measuring yourself is way better representation of your journey, not just the scale. And I don't believe in just the number at all. But my good friend was telling me about this scale it's the renfo scale on amazon i believe it's like 30 dollars canadian which is not bad at all and this has a little app that goes along with it to tr literally track everything now another disclaimer that i don't like about it like i'm going to tell you the pros and cons this is a favorite of mine just because i needed a new scale as far as i'm concerned it's pretty well accurate for the most part like i've had no issues with feeling like I weigh myself a couple times and it's different each time like I had that problem with another scale so this one I feel like is super accurate but what I will say is they do track like the app does track based off of BMI the index that is terrible that makes you called obese if you're five pounds overweight which is so crazy so that part i don't like because it really makes you feel like you're even if you did lose like you're still not in the right category so just be mindful of that if you're really sensitive to those types of things and definitely don't go for this but in terms of fat percentage calculation muscle mass all those sorts of stuff is really really insane basically you just connect your phone and it will have your scale there and when you're ready to weigh yourself you would just touch this and on the scale and depending on if you're in a bus or not or whatever your case is it will make some certain noises to tell you where you're at you could set your goals on it on where you want to be so again there are better ways to measure your progress i just thought that this was an actual scale that does exactly what it says okay, if you're a vlogger or anything like that or you're into cameras or recording this little thing which i use all the time to kind of prop up for me to take like videos when i'm on the go to keep the camera still so i'm not blocking the microphone this is so cute so sturdy you can click this little button here and then you can change where you want the camera to go so i really really like this if you're into that starting a channel this is for you. All right, the next thing for electronics would be this alarm clock. Now, I know that it's popular to go for the, which brand is it, the Sony one? Or anyway, there is a really high brand name for this one. I can't remember the name of it now. It's like $146. Basically, this clock will wake up really slowly and shine orange. This one was definitely more affordable. I believe it was like $30 or $40 at the most. And that's why I bought it, just because it was way more affordable. This is the brand E Cozy. And basically, it has settings where you can adjust how bright you want it to be when you're waking up in the morning so it gradually gets brighter and you can choose the level of brightness you want it to reach so it doesn't have to be super blinding it could be like a medium tone because this thing is actually really bright it has about 10 or 12 different modes for the alarm sound that you want it to make and then you actually get two sections of alarms so you can set two different ones depending on if you work nights or different shifts throughout the week that you need to have two and then you can adjust the volume of it that it reaches in the morning the little snooze button but yeah it has so many different options and it's super affordable considering the other one is so expensive so i would highly recommend this especially if you have trouble getting up in the morning next thing would be this apple watch screen protector so it's basically not glass i think it's just acrylic but it just goes over your apple watch and i actually got it for mike's size apple watch i haven't gotten it for mine yet but i got it for mike i used him as kind of like a dummy to try it because i wasn't sure how bulky it was gonna be so it's not bulky it kind of just looks like that very slim on the hand and it just protects his phone he already cracked it once so that's kind of great because if he was using the actual watch he would have no screen right now so it definitely protected it he needs to put this one on right now so that's why i took it out and yeah it's really great he really likes it and i 
think they were pretty affordable as well all right and the last thing for electronic are these little camera covers for your webcam on your laptop they're just like those things that slide to cover to make sure that nobody is peeping at you or hacking you or anything like that so it comes in different colors which i thought was super cute as well i can't remember the all the three but i will again link them below but now my computer is actually like a navy blue, so I would rather have the black there instead of the white. So it's just nice to have those little options, and they came in a pack of three, so I haven't even used all of them yet. But I just got a new computer, so like I said, I will be using uh, one of them now. Instead of just putting like, I used to use a sticky note or like tape, and that's great and all, but I feel like it's not, just not the vibe. The last things that I wanted to talk about were, were the gym. So my gym girlies as well, and this is my favorite thing ever for the gym. I, absolutely obsessed i don't remember the brand of these but i have a couple of them this one actually might be a different brand i'll link both of them below i have two i can't remember the name of the other one the other one's in my car because i use that a lot but i might be using this one now more so just because i've actually been feeling a little bit of pain on my hips using one because i lift super heavy when it comes to my leg days so this one seems a lot thicker padding i'm pretty sure i'm gonna compare the two actually either way both of them are around the same price. They could easily be the same brand. But I don't know. This one just feels super thick. I should put this one in my car. Now I'm just realizing it. Anyways, this is a hip thrust pad. If you did not already know what I was talking about. Both of them came with their own little straps. That you can actually secure this around. To make sure it's not sliding on and off of the bar. And overall, like the pain on my hips have subsided greatly by having these. And I'm like I said, I'm pretty sure this one is thicker. So if you see this specific pattern go for this one i don't know it just feels extra extra nice you can use them for your back if you're doing barbell squats back squats or hip thrusts either way it's really great to protect your body these are lifting strap these are a specific brand i was just looking more at the reviews i mean they're all pretty good would i get straps again definitely not i don't think it's crucial to have the straps on but you just put them around your wrist and you wrap them around your bar for extra support i would definitely get gloves next time uh, probably by the same brand just because these are really good quality they're really comfy on the wrist i actually wanted to get whitney simmons lifting straps because she has them and they're so freaking cute but they're always sold out okay and then a little household kitchen item that if you like to cook okay i like to chop my vegetables i enjoy it very very much so but one thing i hate is getting the vegetables from my board to the pan i'm not big on transferring the board over i like to use kind of more heavier quality boards this bench scraper on amazon i believe it was like ten dollars you just scoop your vegetables and toss it in your pan and it's just simple easy to go this is the amazon basics brand i mean i don't know what you would need the ruler at the bottom for to be honest but overall it's just such a great tool to have in the kitchen i will never turn back or go without it it's so convenient oh i forgot to add this on my electronics but this is just my phone case i just got it the glare is really really bad anyways i'll link it just gold and black it comes with a lot of different colors all of the colors still have the gold accents though with the heart and on the bottom it does say smile every day i don't know if you guys can see that or not i've had so many compliments on my phone case and it just goes just said it's a smile every day like a little reminder okay i'm not gonna show this wallet just because makes everyday wallet and he uses it all the time i'll put a picture though here however so you guys can grab it for your boyfriends or if you're a guy who really needs like a quick open wallet not those big old school chunky leather ones it's very slim michael is absolutely obsessed with it i got it on a whim i think for his birthday because he's been wanting a new wallet and he fell in love with it so it keeps all the cards really nice i mean the change you know guys don't really carry change anyways i feel like in their wallet so it doesn't really matter and the last things would just be furniture in my house so actually the one behind me a nice long ladder that i built by myself on amazon that i've decorated that fit perfectly in this nook actually but in general it's just nice to have like a little ladder or like a blanket ladder or any of those things i know amazon has so many good choices this was my favorite because of the price honestly amazon is great and all but you have to know your prices not everything is actually a sale item or a discounted item where you could probably find it at your local walmart for cheaper or something like that so this was actually i think a hundred dollars flat and it's super tall and it fits the space so nice and the quality is amazing i haven't had any issues 
on the bottom it had like these little what do you call those things that you can actually lengthen or shorten the legs on it to fit comfortably on your floor especially if for whatever reason it's not even where you're putting it we'll manipulate it to look like it is the next thing that i have furniture wise from amazon is my bar cart actually okay guys i think that i mentioned literally everything that i actually love from amazon that i have so far i hope that you guys enjoyed this video comment down below what your favorite item was give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't be fake thank you guys for watching all 600 of you how insane is that to say i'm so grateful love you love you love you <laughs>